Hi YouTube. I thought I'd do this video to explain what love is. Because people get love confused with the mushy kind of feeling that you that you see on the cinema or on adverts. Um, <clears throat> love isn't actually the problem. It's the foundation of love that's the problem. See what love actually does is it actually hooks, really powerful hooks, like steel hooks, in deep within to your soul. <clears throat> and that's why that's why couples who are together a lot kind of their kind of energies kind of bounce off each other, either negatively or positively. Um <clears throat> however the person with the stronger willpower can usually balance out the negative and positive karma between the two of you. How does that work? Well, first of all, let's understand what love actually does. When you're in love with someone, you, you form very strong cords of attachment to that person. And that's okay, I mean, that's good. I'm not saying it's bad or anything. <clears throat> but, what actually, but what it actually causes, because the, the, because the cords of attachment are so deep into your soul, the longer you spend with that person, the more painful it can be if things go wrong. Um, but if you know how to balance the goodness, if you know how to balance the energy, then it's not a problem. Um, but it can be a problem if you don't know how to balance the energy. And that's why you see many people today living on their own um, in a negative way. I mean, living on your own is good in a positive way. Living on your own can be a step towards greater expansion within... Or it can be a step towards greater darkness within, depending on the person. The same with relationships. Relationships can liberate a person. They can bring a person closer to the light. Or they can take a person further down the spiral or the chasm of darkness. So it depends... On the purse, on the two people who are in love. <clears throat> but always know, even if one person is more negative than the other one, always know that the power is in your hands to take to take charge of your own inner and outer freedom. Don't be dragged down by another person. It's easy to be, da be d dragged down by a person. Remember, remember, company is more stronger than willpower. So you need a lot of willpower to overcome company. I mean, yeah, company. <clears throat> I'm not sure what I'm where this video is heading, but... The light is within each of you. It's up to you to find it. It's everybody's responsibility. It's everybody's responsibility to be ready at the moment. Just like it is everybody's responsibility in the astral world to be ready to be born into a human body. They're all desiring to be into a human body. So they're ready for it, they're prepared for it. But no one's prepared for death, or very few people are prepared for death. And yet death is such a deep, dark subject. This, this is why meditation is so... so in tune with reality. Because it's the reality of everything that is born has to die. <clears throat> It 
it is the way. Yet there is a power within you that wants to expand. And this power, if given freedom, this power, if watered and fertilised, this power can grow so powerful. The potential within you is so great. But you just stagnate. I'm not sure who this video is referring to, but... The light is within each of you. It's up to everyone to find it. That's all I have to say. God bless everyone. God bless. God bless. God bless.